With this launch, South Korea has joined an exclusive international club, one of only a handful of nations able to put satellites into orbit commercially. The three-stage rocket called Nuri, meaning world, was carrying a one-and-a-half-ton test satellite up to 700 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. A first attempt last October failed when the rocket's third stage malfunctioned. That added to the anticipation of this launch, bringing large crowds to the beaches facing South Korea's Nauru Space Center. They weren't disappointed. The engineers believe they've fixed the problems and that this time, Yuri will become the first homegrown South Korean rocket to put a satellite in orbit. I came here for the first launch and it was a disappointment when it failed, so this time I'm hoping for success. At the moment of ignition, I said, wow. Then the roar of the rocket made me so proud. I feel like we've joined the ranks of truly advanced countries. 70 minutes after the launch, the country's science minister was able to claim success. Fellow Koreans, the sky of the Korean universe has been open wide. Now the government plans to increase the technical reliability and stability of the Nuri rocket through four more launches by 2027. This launch has further accelerated the pace of rocket development on the Korean peninsula. North Korea says it launched its first satellites years ago, but many analysts believe that was just a cover for the development of its long-range ballistic missiles. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Gohung, South Korea.